Hello and welcome to the next video. This video is all about how to make a route in Angular on the front end. So let's just jump right on into it. And there we go, I got the page to load up. So let's just jump on into client and let's dive right into where we want to go, which is any of these packages. Let's say we want to update and add a route to the uh, index package for any given reason. Let's just make one up and let's say we want to add a new state basically and how we do this is in each module we have an index.routes.js if you don't have one that's fine it just it won't end up registering any routes it's not a big deal but if you do have one you will more than likely have it look like this where it's going to inject from route helper and it's going to say app run every time once it starts up or once the page is loaded route helper dot configure states and what this does is basically brings in the array of states you're declaring in this individual module and it configures them to work so let's go look where that is that that belongs in the core module down inside of the factory I do believe actually it will not the, it'll actually uh, live down in the provider uh, the factory actually has a lot of interceptors and uh, things that sit in between, also the logger, but that's not what we're getting into this time. So down here you'll see the route helper provider, and one of the things it exposes is configure states. So you pass it the states and also the otherwise path, and basically what it does is it goes through all the states and it sets them up. So that way down here in the index, routes you can just come down here copy it put it back put another one in call it uh, oh let's see let's call it trial change up uh, the template URL we can leave the controller the same not a big deal you drop this down let's just go create a new file called trial view and this is where it's important for the uh, naming HTML uh, the view is important because that tells the front end that hey uh, that tells actually uh, the front end when everything's going through it and we're responding all this stuff back it tells us hey this is actually HTML its main purpose is you know to just respond back whenever it's called upon it doesn't need any other functionality there's no controllers and there's no nothing uh, so it's pretty straightforward. So it allows us in the system to know what's going on. Oh, I already saved it. So we're good to go. So we could actually, let's go back and let's give it a trial URL. So let's go back, let's save this. And the, the actual NPM start should have already kicked it off. So we should be able to do trial and look at that right there. Let me put a h1 tag around all this so at least shows up nicely there we go all right cool so just like that we added an angular route we know where it came from if you want to you can come back into the util provider and look more over how it happens how we handle errors and how it all gets knitted and how the states work so there's more functionality here for you to check out that won't necessarily be covered in this video, but uh, feel free now that you know kind of where it all lives to go check it out, add routes as you like, and have a good time. If you got any questions, feel free to find us, uh, whether it be GitHub or social media or even on this video.